Hi guys, today I'll be uh, covering the moment modification factor, alpha m. And I'll be looking at some different BMD situations and to support that I'll be looking at some examples. So alpha m is one of the factors when we're calculating phi mbx and uh, that relates to basically that buckling, uh, flexural torsional buckling um, moment. And uh, one thing I mentioned previously uh, was the whole concept of the segment and how that relates to effective lengths. But again, the concept of uh, the segment is important for alpha m and understanding the moments. So one of the key things, as I've mentioned, for beams is drawing a BMD. You need to really draw your BMDs. And uh, one of the things I want to go over is alpha m equaling 1. It's very important to understand. Uh, that's for a worst case BMD. So as we can see here, we've got an alpha m equals to 1. So this is sort of the worst case BMD situation. We've got a uniform uh, value and it's along the entire length of the beam. But that's not really what happens. We might have a load. So we might have some situation where we might have a load here, there, or there. And the BMD can look something maybe like that. And we have areas where, you know, there's zero moment. It might not be at the supports that there is some sort of moment. So as I've mentioned here, it's not as severe. And alpha m equals 1.